Hi friends, how are we all doing? Uh, I hope you're well, I, I truly do. Friends, I, uh, I've been, you've heard me talk about it, uh, and I've been kind of um, evolving a bit in my, oh, by the way, uh, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? I just need to check the time. Excuse me a moment, please. Uh, it is 5.30, wow, says Salt Spring Island. Now, uh, I've done the other side of this uh, already. I, I've been, I've been, I'll, I'll tell you what I've been doing. It, it's not about, <clears throat> and I, I'm, I'm old school. And I mean, axes for me were for splitting wood. Okay. That's what axes are for me, for me. They're for splitting wood. Well, not everybody just wants to split wood. And I get that. There's lots of folks who live in the inner city who, when they get out, they want to chop, like chop some wood, like. Not split wood, but chop. You know what I mean by that? Cross cut, like, like buck with an ax and, and chop trees and, and cross cut. I get it. I'm the same. I'm, I'm actually getting more there now into my edges. So, so friends, this was an HB. It's an HB. It's an old, uh, I like my vintage steel. It's much nicer to work with, but I've been evolving a bit in, in this area. Um, and I'm really enjoying the, the results, friends. Um, so, I mean, I, I've been filing an ax by hand for years cause that's all I ever had. I never had no power tools, but I think what a lot of, uh, maybe homeowners do is that, well, I'll just, they do it wrong. I, I, I guess, well, wrong might be the wrong word, but it's, you'll see a profile of an ax has comes to a convex here. It comes to a, you know, a point. Right? So, the idea if you're out in the field and you want to sharp, you go like this. Guy goes, we got to get that edge sharp. So he goes like this, look. Let's just, let's just do this very gingerly. Okay? There's the, there's the factory grind right there. Okay? See it? That's it. That, that, that's what they come with. They come with a little bevel micro bevel they call it okay well if you want to get more penetration in in wood with wood here's my other side i just finished doing it's nowhere near done because i actually stay off this you see this is still okay friends so here's another one of my favorite axes for for splitting but it can become a better splitter i want to show you the difference in profiles here let's take two seconds together and and look at this okay See the, see, well, let's go up. Now I just pulled this one off the dusty old rack. Look at the difference. See what happened there? You see the fella is just, he, I've never touched this ax. I've never sharpened it or nothing. You see what he's done? He stayed on. Actually, he hasn't. He's, he's, there was another filing there. He should have stayed with that first one, that higher shine. He's gone and he's just made it sharp so that he can penetrate. And I get it. I get it. That, that's fine and dandy, but look at, you see, he stayed out and he's not done the cheek. Whereas what we did is we went after the cheek first, friends. See ours? The one we're talking about today? Big difference, friends, okay? So on this one, to make it a better splitter because it's got a ton of cheek, I would actually do this process that I did today because I've got a ton of girth, but I wouldn't go up as high. Right? Oh, I can still touch this. 
because I've stayed off it. And then actually what I did do, and, and I'll have to do it again, is this, right? Or this to make, to get my edge solid again, not, not brittle edges. So I stay off. And the only way for me to show you this is this starting fresh. Okay. Now, uh, I've just done it a little bit here, so it'll be difficult to see, but you will notice, you will notice the, yeah, so you can see the little shine part right there. But I don't want to be on there. I want to be here. Watch what happens here. Oh, that's the wrong file. Now, let's let's show you what I do. I just, I go right through the rust. This will start to bite steel instantly. There it is. Now we're in. But I'm going to show you how I do this. I'm not, I'm not on the point, friends, okay? I'm not. I'm not out on the point. Think about all the strokes you're doing and everywhere you're doing your strokes, okay? Have your file card with you. You know, get that, keep that file clean. This is just how I've done it through the years. I, I, I do the point <clears throat> at the end is when I do this, the edge. Okay, and you'll notice, I'll show you. You'll even see it in the edge that I already filed. You'll see it. So, so think about how many strokes, I haven't even touched here yet. I haven't even touched here. I've only been from here to there. But you think about how much you, you know, if you want to count them, go ahead. But I don't, I don't count. I just know. Because this is the toe of the bit, right, friends? This is the toe. It gets used a lot. There, now that I've got the whole thing, I can start working. Here we go. Okay, see all the steel? It's working good. So I just want to bring you to, to something apparent here. Okay? I have not and will not touch this. See this? This is untouched. You can see it in the in the video because I'm looking at it. This is all untouched, and so is this. All of this is untouched. Look at right there. I won't I won't touch that or this. The edges, you, you got to be careful out the edges because that's the most worn the axe has ever been. So you want to come in, you don't have to and you don't, you don't, it's up to you what I do. I do them individually. I come out and I'll do this point. I don't try and get some long sweep from here to there like, like this. I don't do it. I come here and I actually go like this, watch. And I concentrate on the on the toe. This is the toe of the bit. Okay. There you go. You can see I just got it there. See that? Because the other side has been done, and now I want it to match this side up. Okay. So now we're there, and we're still not. We'll reprofile it. Okay, so you can see what's happened there. Now, now that I've gotten that bit out there, now I can work this. I sometimes work half the bit. See? I'll do this. I'm still not even near the, the apex. Okay? You'll notice it change a little bit. See it getting a little bit narrower, friends? See that? Watch. I'm changing the angle, a touch there now. See that? 
right there. I just started to come up closer to it now and I haven't touched it here. So this looks even now from here, kind of here, all the way down, 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 down to there, okay? So how I look and make sure if this is gonna meet up like this, you can do it by feel or you can do it by visual. So now I come over here now and I make sure that this point is done. It's just what I do, friends. I'm not telling you you gotta do it. You just get it and then start moving over now. See? Because you want those points sharp. There. There we go. Now I'm now I'm working a nice, I'm able to work a nice stroke and still stay off. Because what I'm doing, friends, is actually making a, a sharper axe and I'm changing the profile a bit. I'm going after the bit, or after the cheeks a bit here. Okay, friends? Get the cheeks. This is the last part I do. This is last. This is still dull. Friends, I'm literally dull. Okay? Now we've got a really nice... You'll feel it. There's probably a high spot right where I am. A few minutes later... So now, now is when you can look this way. You look into your bit and you it won't focus. See all that stuff there, friends? That's dull, that's, that's what you want still. I haven't touched any of it, that's all dull, okay? But I've gotten here. And I've gotten here, okay? So now, once that's done, I can take a closer gander, right? See? See, I'm still not out there. Look. Right? See the line? Good. A touch here, just to blend a little teeny bit, just, oops, sorry, friends, there you are. Here and here. See it there? I'm still dull here. Look, I can still literally do this with my finger. That's what you want, friends. Okay? You don't you don't want that up there. Okay? So I'm coming back to my file and I'm gonna go at it here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get this. See what this looks like. Oh yeah, see I'm up there now. We go. Very nice. Just see that? We are getting close, friends. We should almost look at this now. It's 
So there we are. Okay. see right there we got to get a little closer down there but it's pretty much slender and ready to go so now it's time to get after the edge a few minutes later and and there's several ways to do this we're, we're almost ready for the stone friends Seriously, we are. We're almost ready for the stone. Romancing the stone. Take a look at your edge from this way down. You can see the shiny spots. What happened here now? Is this what I'm thinking? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I'll show you what we're gonna do. I'm ever so slightly now gonna change my angle of my of my file to go to the bevel now. Almost a micro bevel out at the tip. You'll notice it. I want a little. You'll see it forming. See it there? So now we're going to be sharp. And you can see where there's where there's work to be done. See that right there? There's a there's a nick in the blade. So now we're starting to get sharp. So we got to look after that. Can you guys see that from where you are? Yeah, you can. It's right there. Look very close. There's an actual nick right there. I take it out. Okay. That that's just that's what you got to do, friends. Okay, you can do it however you want to do it. But it's it's time to reprofile. Okay? Yeah, that's pretty good dent there right there. It's still there. We're gonna flip it over and see if we can get rid of it. So we can flip it over now. Okay. Yeah, see there it is. Look, friends. That's what I'm looking at right there. So I don't know how finicky I'm gonna get there. I don't. You'll notice that little shiny line start disappearing. See? It's almost gone. Actually, I think it is gone. I think. So that there, see that micro bevel there? You can see it really nice almost right here now. But see that little niche? Right there, that, that, you know, that's, that's gotta go, friends. See it there? We should be getting sharp real quick. Okay. See it there? It's barely visible now, right there. It's barely, barely visible. Okay. Okay, so there we go. There's our new and this will be totally dull now again, okay? But now we're into good steel. Now we go micro bevel.
See, there she be. Very nice. Oh yeah, very nice. But it's just by hand, friends, now, okay? You see it there, don't you? Let's get you in the light, a little different in the light there. There it is, there's the micro bevel taking place. Okay, right there. See that line? I can see it real good, there it is. So there's my little micro bevel. And just by hand, friends. Okay? micro bevel Ooh. oh dear uh oh we're there Very interesting. It's by hand, friends. It's not polished, it's not anything. It's just a way to get things going with a hand file. Mill bastard. So now we'll get the stone, you see. We'll get a stone out and probably start doing it. Got a weird man in our house, friends. He showed up again. We tried to kick him out. Can't get rid of me. But he keeps coming back. I don't know what to do. Now now he's got me laboring with him. I'm, I'm trying to freaking get saw stuff done and he keeps calling me. What are we going to do with this character? We call him Mike, but I've yet to find the proper nickname. It'll come. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming too. It's very... I just need to work with the man a little bit. Friends, so look at this and the nickname will come. Precise Mike is starting to yeah. ring a bell. Precise. Per by night. Precise. <laughs> Precise Mike. So friends, th this is really, really cool. This is like no joke. So what we've been doing is we've been doing a little bit of a, just, I call it a, a well, I won't say it, a facelift inside the house wood so, so friends this is what we're doing it's a live edge piece of wood this is the tree that me and well i cut it down and mike um uh, nick and i 
We milled it and it's on the channel and literally friends, this is down the road. From our home. My it's, old pottery teacher. What's her name again, babe? Darlene. Darlene. Hi, Darlene. <laughs> and this is, we battled with this. We were going to do a miter and we were going to do a book a bookend, you know how they cut in the, and we decided to con reconfigure because my wife found some space for stuff and we're going to do one chunk and it's going to be our new countertop and it's going down to the, the original Vancouver Island, Live Edge, the man who started this, almost this movement of Live Edge, he did, his name's John Lore, John you're probably not watching this but if you ever do. Uh, Johnny, you're the man, and, and, and I know it, and you know it. And uh, I used to work with, with, with Troy Avenger, one of my best buddies. First guy that ever sent me up a tree. Troy, I love you, brother. So, yeah, good. Just, just, want, yeah, just wanted to double check the line. I love it. Friends, um, I get going sometimes. Um, here, let's just get you guys squared away here. You know, you know what I mean, friends? I, I get going, right? Here, this is, I know this is a new shot for you here, but is that good enough? There, that's probably better, isn't it? Right there, okay? Now, excuse me, uh, friends, I got a bucket of axe heads out the back. Okay, it's, uh, I don't even know what day it is. Eh, I don't. Tuesday, maybe? Tuesday. Um, uh, And I, I, I I, I found an HB, friends. I, I got all the show. I, I put an edge on this thing. Can make you got to get rid of your burr. That's what I'm saying. You've got to get rid of that burr, or it's just gonna fold over on you. Leather strop, the whole gamut. I'm evolving. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Anyway, here's the deal. So uh, I just happened to have. I was looking for something a little uh, shorter. Because this is a chopping axe, friends. It's not really a splitting axe. It would split, but I've got all the sharpening on, on, on video. I did it all right here in the vise with my little camera and that. I did, friends. Anyway, uh, I wanted it to be about a 28, 30 hand, right in there. Not 32, because it's, if you want to do some, some chopping with it, you know, friends, like in between. <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? Chopping. Uh, so anyways, I had, I had it going on this handle. I went in for supper. I came back out, excuse me. And, uh, I instantly grabbed this handle for another head. And I started going and I thought, well, wait a minute. Let me see if it'll work on this. Cause I wanted something a little shorter than this one. You see this one here. See what I mean, friends? Look, see, it's going to end up shorter than this one. I know it doesn't look it, but it is. It, it, it'll come up shorter. See the shoulders? You see, so I'll be able to get an inch. This will probably come up. Let's see. Probably 30 inch, which is great. Yes, it will. It's going to come up 30 inches. And it's ash, and it's got the... Uh, the Lichtenberg burn on it. I like it. It's a nice axe, but it's a finesseful. It's gonna be a finesseful axe. It's not not like thin, thin. It's good. It's a it's a uh, Colby handle, but it's gonna be a chopping axe, not a brute of a split axe. It's HB, friends. It's freaking HB. Just over three pounds, and just under three and a half, but sharp. And there we go. You can see the curl right there. I would reckon it, it probably should. If 
Yeah, so now, yeah, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's gonna. Oh yeah, oh good. See, that's lovely. Yeah, this is, this is actually gonna be, this is gonna be lovely. It's not too heavy of a head, friend. So you just, you know what I mean? You want it to be able to, th this is gonna be freaking wicked. Dead square. Dead freaking square. What a crazy ax head. Oh, and I did a number on the sharpening, friends. I mean, you probably won't see it, but I did a freaking number on it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, time to take some more off. But we're down, down, down. We're going down, down, down. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, friends, here is a kind of a late night axe. We're just uh, closing up shop. But I've been working on this axe. And it's that HB. And uh, I once I get going on something, I don't like putting it down until it's done. And, and we're going to get it done. And uh, I ended up kind of making this thing look um, kind of half used. and ha You know what I mean? Like I, I just made it look older than it than, than it was. I kind of just whatever. Did, patinaed it. Fake patinaed it. This... Where's this thing here? This head weighs three and a quarter pound. Three and a quarter. So it is the perfect. Look at this, friends. Look. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 the perfect chopping axe. Not a wood split axe. This is an in-hand, you need something done, chop down a forest axe. HP straight up 1692. Whenever they were, they were 16. I forget when. It's time, and this is this this has been an enjoyable fit, an enjoyable. Put my glasses on so I don't break nothing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, one hit with a persuader and that's it. Did you hear that? Thud! 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 That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, friends... I think I just made the perfect axe. This is it. Oh my goodness. They, these are so hard to give away, friends. They are, they're so hard to give away. Oh, oh it's deadly. Oh, 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 it's just, you, where do you, listen, if, if you're looking for an axe, friends, Get a hold of some guy like myself, not not me particularly, not right now. Anyways, I'm I'm loaded up with orders and and I I'm not taking orders right now. But there's guys out there doing this this craft because it's a very popular thing right now. It's been popular on YouTube for a long time. It's a great pastime. People love refurbishing axe. I know of four guys right now that that I could recommend: Killinger, Tom Lely, um, but. What my point is, friends, there's a gazillion people doing it. A gazillion. Pick somebody, do a bit of background on them. You know, just be careful because a lot of people can do this craft, but they don't know how to test their axes. They want to test them. You want to see them use the axe vigorously before you purchase it, if you're buying it to use, right? There's a lot of good guys making axes out there. And so just be careful, but pick a good guy, get referred. Uh, Killinger's one I know I can refer, and Tom Lely. They both make wonderful axes, and I've used them both. So 
I have to know that that I can refer somebody before I refer them. Killinger makes a nice axe. So I guess basically what I'm saying in a nutshell is, is you will not find something like this in the grocery store, friends. And you won't find it at the new, the new, the, 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 just get a custom axe. Buy a custom axe off somebody. Vintage steel is nice and so is uh, hand forged. The new stuff coming out. Like uh, Liam Hoffman, he makes a good axe. I mean, he's a blacksmith. He's a great blacksmith. So I've, I've watched him on YouTube. Uh, there's lots of guys out there, friends. Lots of guys. So get a good axe. Because there's nothing like using a good axe. Oh, that's like scary. <laughs> Over and out, friends. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching my videos. See you on the stump. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, I was... There. Ash is nice. I love HB, and uh, I'm just about to pop a wedge in her now. HB, boys and girls, women and children, be kind.